The anti-stock theft units camp in El Ramu along the border of Wajir and Mandera counties has come under attack. The officers managed to repulse the attackers who sought to overrun the camp. Another vehicle in Guerrilla area in Wajir narrowly escaped an IED attack, with the device exploding shortly after the vehicle had passed. The explosion coming just three days after a public service vehicle ferrying 21 passengers from Arabia to Mandera town in Mandera County was struck in a similar way. It happened right after a signal to all police stations from Vigilance House that warned of the intention by the terror outfit to attack the police station at night in search of arms. Now, the signal indicates that the attackers would present themselves as reporters of an incident. The main suspect in Monday's attack that claimed seven lives is still under interroga interrogation by the anti-terror police unit. 13 survivors are nursing injuries at the Mandera Referral Hospital. Take a look. Around 10.30 a.m. Wednesday, a land cruiser transporting foodstuff to Gerile area of Wajir County was struck by an improvised explosive device, killing all four on board. The four, three men and a woman, encountered the IED at Erga area along the Gerile Wajir Road. Wajir Governor Ahmed Mukhtar confirming the incident after a brief from security chiefs. It is uh, about 80 kilometers from Wajir town. Uh, and the car was returning from Gerili, uh, a border village uh, that uh, you know is in Wajia. And uh, one of uh, the men is a business, known uh, businessman that uh, you know was uh, uh, taking uh, foodstuffs to Gerili and he was coming back to Wajia. Police suspect the explosive device was planted by Al-Shabaab militants operating in the area. The anti-stock theft unit camp in El Ramo along the border of Wajir and Mandera counties also coming under attack. The officers managed to repulse the attackers who sought to overrun the camp at midnight. Another vehicle in Gerile area of Wajir narrowly escaping an IED attack with the device exploding shortly after the vehicle had passed. The explosion coming just three days after a public service vehicle ferrying 21 passengers from Arabia to Mandera town in Mandera County was struck in a similar fashion. The Wednesday attack happening right after a signal to all police stations from Vigilance House that warned of the intention by the terror outfit to attack police stations at night in search for arms. The signal indicates that the attackers would present themselves as reportees. The main suspect in Monday's attack that claimed seven lives is still under interrogation by the anti-terror police unit. 13 survivors and nursing injuries at the Mandera Referral Hospital. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.